Hi everyone, I'm Kate Wu. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to paint some beautiful wisteria. Let's get started. Native to China and Japan, wisteria is a glorious, brightly colored climbing vine of the pea family. They are commonly found in purple, pink, and white color. In Japan, wisteria is a popular plant grown in many gardens with sheds especially built for the plants to climb on. If they grow in the wild, they will go really wild and kill other plants they climb on. Back to the painting, we're going to make some green for the stems of the flower. We'll take yellow and blue to mix the green. I use traditional Chinese color blocks. I'll put some information about the materials that I use in the description box. The flower petals are in blue colors only, so take some blue. I don't pre-mix a lot of color ahead of my painting. I usually mix enough to fill my brush and start to paint. When the color runs out, I wash my brush, take fresh color and paint again. That way you'll get a nice shade of color each time. The China blue is a unique color in traditional Chinese painting. It is a plant-based color extracting through a lengthy process of fermentation, adding lime, and glue, and heat. Back in the old days, everything was done by hand. A slight difference in the mix and timing may result in slightly different color. My experience with the blue color is that the amount of glue it mixed with you can get bright deep blue color easily by adding some water if the quality is good. As compared with other colors that I use like the yellow, orange and red, this blue color takes longer to soak it to get the color out. So if you want to paint, you should soak the color half an hour before you start. I'm painting another shorter ones draping from the top and this is a fast forward so that you don't get bored. For the statements use some yellow and just dip a bit like this and paint. Then I'm going to use ink to paint the feather shaped leaves. It's the main stem, and then the leaves are pointy. So it really doesn't really matter which direction you paint, you can paint it the way that I paint now or the other way around, as long as you can get the um, pointy tip. To have more variations in my painting, I'm going to add some leaves in color. You may also like create the variations or shading by adding some leaves in light gray, which is a diluted ink. And then a third wisteria. The reason why I left a gap on the main stem was because I wanted to paint a cluster of flowers here on the foreground. If you are new to my channel, I've explained in my previous videos that this is a feature of Chinese painting or a feature of painting on rice paper. I will talk more about rice paper in some future videos, so please subscribe and press the bell notification button so that you don't miss out any updates. 
Now I'm adding a hummingbird. Dip some red for the long beak. And then the chest, I'll use yellow and a bit of orange. Hummingbirds come in many different colors, so you can explore the combination of any color for your bird. This little guy flies so fast that I will just uh, use an outline to paint the wings which looks very different from what I have painted before. And this is my own creation. Once you master the use of Chinese watercolor and the brush, you can create anything or paint any subject that you want. And then the eye will be just a dip of dark ink and dot. And then the last bit will be the main woody vine that um, I'm going to add on top to connect these, this area. Thank you for the patience to stay till the end and this is the longer video than usual. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.